G'day all, Graham Sanders from North Queensland. I'm doing a series on forward fly management and this is the last of the section with the local species Tetragonula hocking's eye. This episode, well we're going to wrap it up because what are the signs of success? Well, just look at the activity here. This is barely a week and a half after we did the management. Let's say two weeks, just to be generous. Heaps of activity at the entrance, guard bees. Most importantly, you can see the amount of rubbish coming out of the hive. All that extra brood I put in is hatching or is hatched and the bees have now um, gone into clean up duty. When a hive goes into clean up duty like that they will clean up that hive including the eggs including everything else in there. So the, the environment inside for the forward fly is destroyed now. This hive super strong. Just a pan back to show you the hive. There we, there we go. Now, why did we get the forward fly attack? Unique situation of a long dry spell. This hive being a brood lift, so it was very weak in terms of the amount of brood in there. And with the long dry spell, very low pollen stores, and of course it got hit with a fighting swarm that weakened it terribly. Put all that together and the dry conditions and guess what? That meant that that was ideal attack time for the forward fly. And yes, they came in in droves into this hive. But with careful management, we can fix that. This hive will now just keep going from strength to strength now. You can just see the activity going on there. That's just brilliant. So, one hive successfully saved.